Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Lauren and today we are going to be talking about the Kayla Itzines BBG program. Now there's a lot of hype around this and especially now because as we all know we are all in self-isolation as we should be and so many gyms are closed if not all and so a lot of people are switching over to this program and a lot of my friends have been texting me because I was a BBG fiend for two years. I followed it religiously. You could not find a week when I did not follow this program. I'm going to be doing a very honest review today because it's about $100 a year and I think she's giving a free month right now due to the current circumstances, but I'm going to help you decide if this is the right investment for you because it is an investment, $100 a year is a lot and it charges you automatically each year so you have to remember to cancel that if you don't like it. So let's get started. So for those of you who don't know, the Kayla It Signs BPG program is the Kayla It Signs Bikini, Bikini Body Guide, that's what it stands for, yes, Bikini Body Guide. And it's on the Sweat app. And there's like a lot of other programs on this app. So if you do invest in the app, you are investing in the other programs as well. So you don't have to follow this one. But it's mostly body weight and focus. So that's why a lot of people are doing it now. Just a little bit about me before we get any deeper into the video. I am a certified personal trainer through the National Academy of Sports Medicine. So I know a little bit about what I'm talking about. So. You know, you don't have to trust me, but these are all my opinions and they do come from a source of knowledge. So first I'm going to talk about all the good things about this program because like I said, I did it for two years. So obviously there were things that I really enjoyed about it. So first I was in amazing shape when I followed this religiously. Here is a before and after picture. So the picture, um, the before picture was taken in December of 2017. And then the after picture was taken in December of 2018. The after picture was taken after I had done eight months of the BPG program religiously. Um, but I do want to add a disclaimer that I didn't really change my diet at all. I started the BPG program after my freshman year of college. And of course, my diet changed a little bit coming home because I wasn't drinking as much and having late night snacks and things like that. But I made no conscious effort to eat super clean or follow the meal plan that she does offer in the app. And then, as I said, the second picture was taken in December of 2018. So at this point, I'd already been back to school for a while during my sophomore year. So I definitely would not attribute these changes in my body to lifestyle changes, such as food and eating or and sleeping more and things like that. It was definitely because of the program. So if you would like to redefine your body, um, I would say this program is really good for sculpting your body and just getting that toned look that you really want and it took a lot of inches off my waist and I didn't think I was out of shape before and I was totally fine with the way that my body looked but seeing the side by side picture um, really reinforces it, it does good things for your body so that is the number one thing that I really enjoyed about the program. The second thing that I really liked about the program is that I saw basically immediate results. Once I started this program, I would say after about a month of following this program, and I was definitely, you know, I was trying to be more conscious of what I ate just because I was committing to this program, but I still ate ice cream, I still had pizza, I was on no strict diet, I still had dairy and red meat and all those things. So mostly just because of this program, I immediately saw results, and after a month, I started feeling so much better. I started having more energy, I started noticing my waist was getting smaller, um, things were fitting differently. It was immediate, which was crazy. That does not usually happen. And like I said, I am a personal trainer and I've never seen results so immediate from any type of program. So that is a really good thing. And then the third thing that's really good, and this is why a lot of people are talking about it now, is because it's really easy to do with minimal equipment. So she does recommend, I believe, like five to 10 pound weights in some of her bikini body guide workouts. And so this is really easy to find at any hotel gym, and a lot of people at home probably have things like that. But it's really easy to modify if you don't have a very equipped home gym or any gym at all. Um, you can do it in your dorm room, you can do it in your apartment, and like I said, I'm a college student, so that was key. My friend and I could go to basically anywhere, um, and we would do it together. 
when I was doing this religiously and it was really easy to find what we needed especially if the gym was crowded we could go in like a back corner bring like two five pound weights and we'd be good to go the fourth thing that I really personally enjoyed was that it was only three days a week so I like to vary my workouts I like to play tennis I like to do yoga I like to do cycling classes and a lot of the really intensive programs that you'll find that will reshape and redefine your body are like five to six days a week and I can't commit to that because that means that I can't go to yoga and I can't play tennis and I can't do all the other things that I like to do because I'm pouring my heart and soul into this five to six day a week program and that's not for me. That might be for you but it's not for me. So I really like the BBG program because it's only three days a week and then she recommends three days of cardio when you are not doing the BBG program. So this is your time if you like Pilates and yoga and you like to go for runs and walks with your friends, this is the time to do that. So definitely add some variety. So that was a great part of the program because you're only committing to three days a week for I believe 28 minutes at a time. And that's all it takes to really like redefine your body. The last thing that I really enjoyed was that it was a good like talking point with other people. I really liked the social aspect of it because it's such a well-known program and I knew so many people doing it and I could, it was really easy to convince my friends to do it with me because it is so well-known. Um, and then my, like for example, my brother's girlfriend also did the program and she did it with her sister. So it's just a good thing to talk about and it's nice for you doing a program that other people have heard about because then you can talk about it with them and compare your results and compare what you like and dislike and you just feel less isolated throughout the whole process of getting into shape or whatever your goals may be. And that's especially important now when we're on social isolation to have a good workout community. Okay, so now onto the things that I did not like that led me to discontinue my membership. So I discontinued it in May of 2019 and so that was about a year ago. So the first thing that I did not like was that the actual, like I said, the program's only three days a week for 28 minutes, but that actual program gets so boring so fast. And this has no variety. Like, I just don't understand how every single week you have to do burpees and you have to do push-ups. It's the same thing over and over, and it's circuit style. So even from the same day, you're just doing the same exercises over and over again and it just gets very old very fast. So yeah, I have a friend um, and she gets bored very easily and she will never do this program with me and we'll try to do it together and after five minutes she's doing something completely different because she gets so bored because it's so repetitive. And a lot of times repetition is what gives you those results but it doesn't have to be repetition of the exact same exercise. Like I promise there are ways to get fit without doing 50 burpees every time you work out and so that was something that I didn't like and then the second thing and this was like the biggest thing for me and why I stopped was that once you hit a certain point in this program you can't really improve anymore your body's not going to change anymore and you're not going to improve your fitness ability because she doesn't increase the factors that you would need to increase if you did want to continue to progress and so what this means is just speaking as a personal trainer and as someone who's very informed about fitness, if you want to increase your strength or agility or endurance, anything like that, you'll have to increase a couple different variables. So you could increase the weight that you're lifting, you could increase the repetitions that you're doing, the speed that you're doing. And since it's such a specific program, there is BBG, um, like one, two, three, whatever, and I did all of it, but it does not increase enough for you to start seeing major changes in your body. But rather, it is a very good way to maintain your current fitness level, which is great. Um, if that's all you want to do, like, good for you. But I am 20, and I'm really interested in health and fitness. So I just hit a point where I was not seeing any more improvements, and I wanted to start lifting heavier, and I was not able to do so with circuit-style workouts. Okay. Third thing. I kind of touched on this, but there are so many burpees and jumping throughout this, and so that that's because it is circuit style and it's plyometric training. So what plyometric training is, is it's all focused on body weight and on jumping and things like that, because that is um, how you're going to get stronger if you don't have heavy weights to lift and the equipment that you need. So that's just the style of training it is, and if you like that, then that's great, but it can be not great for your joints and just for the long term if you're not if you're not doing proper stretching on if you're not using a foam roller 
um, consistently, this can be very bad for your joints if you're doing burpees and squat jumps and jumping jacks and all these things that she requires throughout the program. It's just not great for you. And so I got very sick of that. I was getting really sore and I could feel it in my joints because I, like I said, I did it for two years. So I was very dedicated. So if you're not great at, or not, if jumping isn't really your thing and you prefer more Pilates style, like, um, you know, like your former Pilates or yoga or something that's a little bit less harsh on your body, this program is not for you. And the last downside of the Kayla It Signs BBG program is leg day. Now, leg day is no one's favorite day, or maybe it is, but it makes you very sore no matter how you do it. But the thing about Kayla It Signs leg day is it makes you so sore every single week. So because the way it's um, divided, there is ab day, leg day, and then arms day, I believe, something like that. Like I said, I haven't done it in um, two years, and so it may have changed since then, but that's how it was when I did it. And because it is 28 minutes of circuits that are meant to get your heart rate up and they're meant to only work your legs, when it's just focused on legs, it's very difficult to not be extremely sore. And especially since it is only a 28 minute program and that tends to be for people who are in more of a rush, um, like me, I'm a student, so if I'm going to do a 28 minute program, I don't want to spend an extra 10, 15 minute stretching. And so oftentimes I didn't spend that extra 10 to 15 minute stretching, which really came back to bite me because oftentimes the next day you seriously can't walk. And doing two years of BBG where each week there was a couple days when my legs were so sore that I couldn't do things that I wanted to do. Like some days it would literally be so hard to just sit in class because my legs were that sore. I guess this kind of contradicts my point earlier that once you hit a certain point, you're not going to progress anymore. And so I guess for the legs, if you're still consistently getting sore, it means that you are doing something that your body is not used to. Um, I did stop seeing um, progress in like my legs and glutes. So um, yeah, like scientifically, you should still be improving if you're sore. But in reality, I stopped seeing results, but my legs were still consistently so sore and I was like unable to walk sometimes and it's just not the way I wanted to live my life. Um, so just be aware that you will be really sore if you do this program. But in order to see the results that you want to see, you will have to be consistent. And being consistent means being sore, so it's just this big trade-off. So if you don't want to be sore all the time, it might not be the program for you. So. That's about the end of my review. Um, as I mentioned, there's a lot of things I really liked about it. And if you're just looking for a quick way to really tone your body and just get the figure that, you know, you have been wanting, um, it really can do that. You can look up BBG before and after pictures just on the internet. And there's also a community within the app. And you will see almost everyone has insane before and after pictures. And it's not like all these people are changing their diets dramatically or they're doing anything unhealthy, but it really is the program that is very beneficial. So that's my, my main thing. Um, and if you're currently socially isolated, as you should be, I would definitely recommend giving it a shot because it is very easy to do with minimal equipment and you will see results and you will thank yourself for doing something challenging. Um, but like I said, I no longer do it. I do other programs that are more suited for me, and I now write my own programs. So um, I'll get into that in later videos. But that is about it on today. If you have any questions about the program, feel free to leave a comment below. I'll be looking at, I will be looking at all the comments, and I will respond to any questions that you may have. So hit the subscribe button below if you liked what you saw and you want to learn more about staying fit and healthy in college and more about the college experience in general. So thank you so much for watching, and everyone, please stay safe.